You know, a while back, Brett was able to do some birria empanadas, and I was dying to try. I didn't get a chance, and I've been wanting to do empanadas ever since. Yep. Well, that changes today, and <laughs> finally getting to it. It's still not going traditional empanada here. No. I'll tell the story in just a minute about this one, but super excited to try empanadas on the griddle doing a shallow fry. That's right. You want to see how we do this one, the cheeseburger empanada, then stick around while we dig in. Many years ago, I lived in Paraguay. While living there, in fact, the very first place that I lived, I was introduced to an empanada. I had never had one before. Took a bite and loved it, and I'll tell you why I loved it. It was super simple. In that one, there was simple ground beef, some egg, and we actually used ketchup ah. as, as the sauce to dip it in. They had hot sauce or ketchup, and I asked my friends what, what, was, what that was about, and they said in Paraguay, they like it simple. A lot of people don't like the spice. So anyways, my point in telling you that one is ever since then, I've wanted to try a cheeseburger version of an empanada. That I've tried sense. I've tried an empanada chileno. I've tried many different ways. I've tried chicken. I've tried steak. I've tried ground beef with a lot of different Shredded fillings. beef. And I will tell you, I think simple with that flavored salted ground beef. Oh yeah. It's still one of my favorites. So we wanted to try a cheeseburger yep. empanada today. Brett, get to the grocery so people know what's going in this one. Here we one. go, what you see in a basic uh, cheeseburger minus uh, the bun. We're using these <laughs> empanada shells we have as Goya. We got 80-20 ground beef. We're using, gonna be cooking white onion into these. Yes. We're gonna be just using ketchup and mustard as a dipping sauce and right. salt and pepper. And of course, we're going to be using vegetable oil for the fry. Right, many, many Central and South American countries enjoy empanadas and they do them in different ways. Typically, you're gonna find one or two vegetables and a couple of other goodies. For example, you might see you might see potatoes in some. Mm -hmm. Like I said, anything from peas to corn to onions, green olives, green olives, peppers, things like that. Yep. Like we said, we want to keep it simple. We will be putting this is the American empanada. This is the American empanada, the American grill, the, che the American cheeseburger empanada, empanada with a little bit of onion, and then we will be using mustard and mayonnaise on the side, like Brett said. Mustard Did and you ketchup. Mustard, mustard, mustard and ketchup. American cheese, by the American way. American cheese. The yeah, I was gonna yes. say part of that because it's a cheese whoop. Yep. Right. But we're doing a shallow fry on the griddle, so we're gonna prep these. So we were jumping the gun. We were actually prepping our shallow fry. Realize we've got to brown the ground beef first. So we'll get to that, and then we'll do the shallow fry. Sorry for the extra work, Brett. It's all right. All right, so first things first is we're gonna brown the ground beef and we'll toss the onions in as well. I'm gonna put some salt and pepper in there, but real simple process. Kind of like I would do with taco meat, but I'm not using taco seasoning. So we are just going to put ground beef and uh, get this cooked up. In fact, I'll get the onions going on the side here. And once they start to saute just a little, I'll go ahead and add them as well. We got the little spatula this time. <laughs> Gonna get this chopped real quick. I'm gonna hit it up. Yep, salt and pepper right now. Go ahead and do the onions too. So Brett's gonna come in with the uh, gravity fed electric salt and pepper shaker, which we, by the way, have the link for these down below. Just say when, Adam. Keep going just like you would do because you're just doing the one side kind of, kind of, so to speak. Yep. So there you go. That's probably good. Sure. Uh huh. Okay. So, you can see this browning up. Get the onions here, check these real quick. All right, we're getting some good browning. In fact, those burners are all on. I wanna put these in the hotter zone right here. Now, I don't mind if these have a little bite, Brett, so I'm not gonna saute them down too much. Okay. Now, I like the ground beef really finely chopped. Get some nice little chunks in there. There we go, getting some color. That's what I was wanting. There we go. All right, so when this is brown and ready, we'll bring the onions over and then uh, we'll get ready to pull it. All right, so we're still brown in the ground beef, but these onions are kind of starting to get transparent. That's how I wanted them. So now I'm going to incorporate the onions in with the meat. Here we go. All right, as Brett's prepping those empanada shells, the last thing I want to do is I want to, before I pull this, this is cooked through. It's also going to continue to cook a little bit in the empanada, but I want to drain the ground beef, or I want to drain the oil out rather. So I'm going to take this onto my spatula and just let it drain off.
There we go. We'll use a little bit of it still for flavor. Get it in there as much as I can anyway. All right. All right, here we go. So now that the meat is cleared up, Brett's getting it prepped. We put a little bit more salt and pepper in there just to season it just a little bit more because you season that to taste. So we've got this dip back just a little bit. The hope is that we can keep the oil right in this region right here. But uh, so I will keep controlling this. So while this is coming up to temp, we're going to make a little shallow fry area. Brett's going to go ahead and start prepping our empanadas. This is just about ready here. So you can go ahead and start filling those and do them. So what we're doing is we're putting just about, I don't know, they say about two tablespoons worth of your innards there for an empanada. So we buy this empanada dough right in the freezer section at the grocery store. We picked this up at Walmart. So Brett is going to fill that and all we're doing is the simple meat and then we're going to fold one piece of cheese in there, make our cheeseburger, right? Yep. And then we fold that up and over. Now it is pliable. It's going to bend just a smidge. It has a little el elasticity, elasticity if you, you will. All right. And then and all you do is you get the, the fork. So you're just making little fork uh, indentions. indentions, if you will. That's going to hold the empanada dough together. In fact, you could probably fill them just a little bit more. What do you think? Um, I always like to do the first one. I'm a little conservative sure. on the first one. Yeah, go go anti-conservative. There we go. See, that's a little bit thin. I could, I would definitely put a lot more okay. in there. So this there is you the go. First one. first one, he's gonna go right into the oil and we're gonna fry these up. And the fr they fry up actually pretty quick. So. Yes, we'll get, keep an eye on it. Look at that. See how quick it goes. That goes quick, so. We'll just keep watching for it. This is how we do our shallow fries. I like the oil moving. You got oil hot enough on the hot surface. So we're just gonna be able to get this. And then uh, let me lay down some paper towels over here and we'll line them up to get them ready. Pull this up and over. Now I added way more beef on this one. Uh-huh. So. This is thick, very thick empanada. So I'm gonna set that up so we can get the bottom going. Nice side about the side of the griddle. The backside didn't get as much oil on it, so I'm just gonna rest it on its side so we can get it, and then I'll pull this one. We'll be good to go. There we go. I think this first one's ready to go, bro. All right, here we go. All right, I didn't mean to one at a time it, but that's kind of how it worked out. There we go, Brett. Start prepping the next, and we'll just keep these going. So we're gonna cre create four or five of these just to show you this process. But man, Brett, this is kind of fun. It is. So I'm gonna do this, that way I can kind of keep feeding this bottom side, so the bottom side can keep getting oil too, so that way it cooks. Sure. All right, Brett, I think at this point we get the, the gist, so we're gonna create these and we'll show you the finished product. Cool. Well, there they are. In all their glory. In all their glory. Kevin's wow. over here holding the holding the plate. He's eyeballing all the rest of them. But you know, it, it, I'm, I, I love these simple cooks. Yes, you know? and these are fun. It's an out, outside of the box burger. And I do enjoy the process of actually kind of running the oil constantly for that shallow fry. Of course, you know, we, we couldn't quite get it exactly balanced where we wanted, but it's it's how it is. And I know every we always get the advice. You need to balance the griddle, do this to balance the griddle. We know we're on uneven ground and we just didn't take the time and we don't think about it till the griddle's already hot. We didn't want to cool it down. Down. We work with what we got. If you're out camping and you can't adjust the ground, you do you, it works you, for you. Adjust the person. But Brett, like we say, it can look amazing. This looks, this looks absolutely looks amazing. So this looks amazing. Great. It looks empanada. so much fun. Like we say, it can smell amazing. Uh, empanada meat, oh, uh, American gosh. cheeseburger. Yes. Uh, can I get a smell yet? Smell, yeah, you can. But if this doesn't taste amazing, this, this is, is all for not. not. Cheers. I'll eat to that. My, My brother. brother. Okay, one. Yep, play. Uh huh. Oh, mm. I like that crust. Oh, the cheese? Call me crazy. Shut up, crazy. It almost tastes like a Philly cheesesteak to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I think it's because of the ground beef, the way we salt and pepper. Okay, hold and on. then the onions. All right, here we go. A little ketchup, a little mustard. Here, we'll swap. Or a lot of ketchup, apparently. Okay, yeah. There we go. A little mustard, a little ketchup. Now, we talked about putting pickles, pickles in this, uh -huh. tomatoes, really filling this up. We thought, well, let's keep it simple. There so, ideas for next. Cheers. Mm, okay. Cheeseburger. Yep. Oh, wow, is that good. Wow. Mm. Now, you said cheesesteak. 
I think it's because it got it has an abundance of onion. Yes, the, 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 obviously sautéed onion. Sautéed sautéed onion. That's absolutely it. But you had the ketchup oh and, and mustard. That Put is a little it. more ketchup on here, and that's it. That's a burger. Yeah, wow. that's that's a banger burger. Mm -mm -mm. And fun to make. So fun to make. A different way to make a cheeseburger. That is filled mm. so good. Good on you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. The way I filled them and mm. rolled them and pressed them. And yeah. Them. Winner, winner, cheeseburger dinner. So it really is another fun one to do. We love getting to come up with these ideas and share them with you and also getting amazing ideas from you. Yep. So we hope this that you did enjoy this. If you did, make sure and give this video a thumbs up. It's one way in which you can support us in what we do. Another way you can support us is by purchasing one of our two amazing cookbooks. We're so excited. Yes. The Epic Outdoor Griddle Cookbook, available on Amazon and anywhere or anywhere books are sold and also smashed soon to be released in fact just around the corner may 16th is the release date yes absolutely man i love that we get to come and do this nothing else really to add to it it was good that's right ken and i know can't wait to dig into yep. it all right <laughs> aside from coming to knock out bangers like the cheeseburger empanada exactly what i was hoping it would be. oh me too why else do we do this because all we do is twin no, no matter, matter what, what. And with that we bid you adieu and don't forget to like and subscribe and griddle on <laughs>